Hey guys, Thunder E here, and I've been waiting to do this video. I finally got the device in hand. I am talking about the brand new Huawei Mate 40 Pro. And as you guys know, Huawei year after year has been doing some really incredible stuff with their Mate and also the P lines, but the Mate 40 Pro is the premier line of devices. And this thing is no slap. It is a lovely looking device. Comes in at 6.7 inches. It's got an OLED display, 90 Hertz display. So you should be getting some really fast, smooth scrolling. And also will help with your gameplay sessions, which is what we care about in this video. So what we'll be doing is we're looking at a speaker test, gaming, and then we'll see how this device functions overall. Now, some of you may ask, how am I getting some of my apps? I use, of course, Pertle Search, as well as also APK Pure, which allowed me to download the apps that I wanted to use for this device. Now, this is also powered by the Kirin 9000. Yes, it is almost over 9000, if you get the DBZ joke there. But this is a brand new processor that has, has shown some really impressive benchmarks. But we want to see how that processor handles in terms of gaming. Now, besides that, you've got eight gigs of RAM. Uh, you've got this beautiful design altogether. Internally, you're looking like a 4,500 milliamp battery with some incredible charging. You've got 66 watts charging, 50 watts wireless charging, five watts reverse wireless charging. I mean, that's insane. That's some insane, yeah, craziness, like all the honking in your hand outside. But that packs in a lot for what this device can do. Now, it's also got dual speakers, which is something that's really nice because previous Huawei devices had kind of like a mono speaker setup, but let's not waste any time and let's listen to the speakers and see how well they sound. quite impressive, much louder, richer, uh, and just overall solid speaker performance from the Mate 40 Pro. Now, when it comes to gaming, how well does that Kirin 9000 and 8 gigs of RAM come into play? Now, I got three games that I went ahead and played. First one I'm gonna start off with is Genshin Impact. Now, Genshin Impact, I wasn't able to do my FPS benchmark test for some reason, it just didn't work with this game. Um, I'm sure there'll be updates to it at some point, but I was able to run the game at the maximum setting at 60 frames per second. As you can see, there were no visible slowdowns while playing the game. That's one thing I will mention, there were no visible slowdowns. The game played well, it handled pretty well overall. You could play on 30 and 60, and I like the performance I got from that. Now, moving over to Call of Duty Mobile. Now, Call of Duty Mobile was quite interesting because we technically didn't get the highest setting. I think this is what you will probably see with a lot of games on the Mate 40 Pro because not all of the games will be optimized to run on this device. I'm gonna give that warning now, first of all, because again, there is no Google services, so I'm sure a lot of developers are gonna take their time in terms of updating to match, of course, the Kirin 9000 processor. But you can see the settings on screen and we're able to play that. And uh, we played the game, it ran pretty smooth, looked really nice altogether. But when it came to performance, we did a solid 60 frames per second, 100% uh, percent, uh, FPS. And also the CPU usage was quite low. I think about 15% or so. So again, you can see this thing runs very, very well. Now moving over to PUBG, which usually is a performance hog. Uh, here again, we saw that we couldn't get the highest setting that is possible on other devices, AKA the settings of Ultra HD Ultra, uh, but we could do Smooth Extreme, which also tasks the system. And we decided to play at this. Uh, and then when we played PUBG at Smooth Extreme, we got a solid 60 frames per second, 100% FPS. Uh, we didn't, weren't able to see the game run at a higher frames per second at its uh, you know, screen refresh rate. But again, I'm sure that has to do with updating the game to match uh, the device. But overall performance was pretty good. I was gonna play some Vainglory, but I couldn't play Vainglory because uh, I just wasn't able to play it on this device. So when it comes to gaming on the Mate 40 Pro, as you look at the games and you play the games, uh, they play really well. The one thing I would add is that the touch sensitivity of the screen is really, really good. I don't know the exact numbers, but it feels so smooth and I really enjoyed playing Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG on here. It was felt much better to aim, felt much better to strafe along the screen. So those are the kind of things that 
turned out pretty nice. Now, when it comes to temperatures of the device, while well, playing for about an hour or so, uh, the max temperature I got was about 98 degrees and that's it. Now, Huawei doesn't mention any special cooling on this device. I would say heat dissipation kind of feels around the device overall, which I think works pretty well for what they're trying to do and keeping those temperatures at 98 or roughly 34 degrees Celsius. That is good to see on the Mate 40 Pro. I think there are a lot of things you would like when it comes to the gaming performance here. You couple that with the audio you're getting from the device, I think you're gonna get a very smooth gaming performance. Just remember this, that at least as for now, you have to download your APKs for the games you want, and they may not be updated to the latest version while you're gaming. But I will honestly tell you the gaming experience from what I've gathered from the games I've played, uh, has been pretty smooth. The fact that it ran Genshin Impact, that's a game that on uh, the Galaxy, on the iPhone 12 Pro, had slowdowns, had noticeable slowdowns. This I did not experience uh, for the time I played, which is roughly about 30 minutes or so. So take that as you will. Maybe that would change once there's an update, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, the other aspect of this device that Huawei really does well is the camera. And Huawei has a brand new camera module here, a 50 megapixel wide sensor, 12 megapixel periscopic zoom at 5x zoom, 20 megapixel ultra wide, and a front facing camera that's 13 megapixels, giving you some really cool looking photographs. I've got to say Huawei does an impressive job with photos overall, and we've seen it continue. I wasn't able, I wasn't able to shoot video. It's been raining. It says it's been really drab outside. But if you guys want a video on the camera, let me know. Put those comments down below. If you want to see a camera uh, battle with, say, the iPhone 12 Pro and the Galaxy, that's something I like to do, especially with low-life photography, because this is really striking photos, just seeing this on the device right here. When we come to the end of this video, what do I think of the Mate uh, 40 Pro? I absolutely love the device. I actually do. Um, I've had it for a little bit of time, and I've got to say that gaming performance really impressed me. Uh, the speakers are also really nice. The cameras also came out pretty well. And uh, you know, again, it's only it's missing Google services, which kind of hinders it, especially here in the U.S. Uh, but if you're in Europe and if you're in other parts of the world where that isn't such so important. I would recommend this device fully. I, I can't wait for Google services to come back to the main, to the mate line or the P line because I think Huawei has done a really good job with their hardware. They've improved it, they've showcased it. And here's the other thing, battery life, which I almost forgot to mention. Uh, for playing about that hour, hour and a half roughly is the total amount of time I played, but battery life dropped from 100% to 88, uh, which has been better than any of the devices I have used so far this year, I'll just put it that way. Uh, it's not it's not a one-to-one -one test per se, but I've really enjoyed the battery life on this. And I've also heard from other YouTubers that their battery performance has been really, really good. So take it as you will, but if you have any questions, any comments on the Mate 40 Pro, let me know, guys. Also, if you wanna get that camera comparison, leave those comments down below. And please don't forget to hit the like button, smash the subscribe uh, button as well, and of course the notification icon to get notified about the latest videos so you can see more from this channel. Thank you very much, and always enjoy your entertainment.